In part five of this lecture, we will discuss the programming languages that first appeared in the 1980s and 1990s. In the 1970s, there was an effort to make languages simpler and to ensure that syntax and semantics were tied together better. The 1970s led to two languages that became extremely popular, Pascal and C. Despite their popularity, neither language added to the many new concepts of programming language design. There was an effort to add mechanisms to implement data abstraction, concurrency, and verification. Clue introduced the idea of the cluster, which is similar to the object and the constructor, a method called to help create an object. The issues of concurrent programming first got addressed in the 1970s, and efforts were made to deal with, among other things, the synchronization issues involved. MESA was developed at Xerox PARC to support modular programming and a few operating systems related concerns, exception handling and synchronization. This allowed its use to write programs that could run concurrently and cooperatively. Euclid was also developed at Xerox PARC and was intended for writing verifiable programs. Wirt and Hoare developed the Algol W compiler and later developed Pascal. Pascal's structure and smaller size made it a great language for teaching introductory programming. It was also used to illustrate algorithms. At the same time, it lacked many features that programmers would normally want in a programming language. There was no string type, although you could set up arrays of characters. Separate compilation was not possible and its input-output facility was not that powerful. Over the years, there were extensions of the Pascal language created that addressed these concerns. UCSD Pascal was developed at the University of California, San Diego. They added features such as the packed array of characters that allowed the program to store more than one character in a full word and manipulate them as a unit. When Philippe Kahn created Turbo Pascal, packed arrays became strings. He also added units to a later version of the compiler and a more practical way of handling input and output, including text and binary files. Pascal fell out of favor in the 1990s as students started learning C, C++, and Java. Dennis Ritchie developed C to simplify the job of writing a new version of Unix for the PDP-11 mini computer. It was based on BCPL and B, where the only data type was the word. C offers four data types, the character, the integer, the float, and the double. It also offered three modified versions of the integer, unsigned, short, and long, and their size was all linked to the data lengths offered by the computer on which it ran. The basic statement in C is the expression, terminated with a semicolon. This made the assignment operator just another operator from the compiler's perspective, which gave greater freedom when writing programs, as did its loose data typing, which allows programmers to use data items in ways for which the data type was not designed. You could multiply characters, use integers to hold the ASCII values of characters, and even do arithmetic with pointers. All of these encouraged the programmer to write code that did not meet modern-day standards for reliability. C was considered a middle-level language given its loose data typing. I have often referred to it as assembly language with nicer syntax. C++ does better type checking in many regards and creates code that is a bit more reliable than C, although it is questionable by how much. As we mentioned before, Various attempts were made to introduce data abstraction, concurrency, and verification to programming languages. This led to Clue, which introduced the idea of the cluster, which is similar to the object and also the constructor. MESA was developed at Xerox PARC to support modular programming and exception handling and synchronization issues. Euclid was also developed at Xerox PARC and was intended for writing verifiable programs. New concerns came with the 1980s, 
there was a great deal of interest in adding a mechanism to support abstract data types in programming languages, a mathematical model for certain types of data structures, such as stacks and queues. Both Ada and Modula 2 facilitated this. Object-oriented languages became popular in the 1980s, including Smalltalk and C++. Lastly, there was renewed interest in functional languages such as Scheme, ML, and FP, as well as declarative languages such as Prolog. ADA was designed in 1980 and standardized in 1983. Its main architect was Jean Ishbia, making ADA one of the relatively small number of popular languages that was developed by someone from outside the English-speaking world. ADA was originally developed to help the U.S. Defense Department modernize their approach to developing embedded systems, computer systems that are part of larger systems, such as an elevator control panel or a system guiding a missile or an airplane. Eventually, ADA was required for use in virtually all work done for the Defense Department, replacing not just the massive number of languages used for embedded systems, but Fortran and COBOL as well. ADA introduced the concept of the package, a self-contained software module that provided a good mechanism for implementing abstract data types, and the task, a mechanism for concurrent programming. Although ADA's syntax looks a great deal like that of Pascal, one of its inspirations, all these features helped make ADA a very complex language, and no ADA compiler could be certified without supporting the entire language. This earned ADA the nickname the PL1 of the 80s, and over the years its popularity has waned. The U.S. Defense Department no longer mandates it for use in software written as part of Defense Department contracts. ADA uses two dashes to indicate the beginning of a comment, which runs until the end of the line. Using a package requires listing it in a with statement. The use statement makes its contents visible to the program module in which the use statement appears. The procedure ADAX begins with its header and then follows with a type declaration for an array of integers and then some other variables. The block of code starts with the reserved word begins, just as in Pascal, and is then followed by two assignment statements, setting values for result and sum. ADA uses get and put for input and output respectively, and begins a loop with the use of the reserved word loop. End loop indicates the end of the innermost loop that is still in progress. The if-then-else construct requires the use of if to indicate the beginning of the construct, then to indicate the statements being performed when the condition is true, else to begin the statements that will execute when the condition is false, and it must be ended with end if. Ada is, in some regards, very readable. One friend of mine calls it pseudocode with semicolons. But source code written in Ada can get very complex depending on exactly what the program is doing, and this hurts its overall popularity. Niklas Wirt's goal in developing Modula 2 was far more modest. He sought to create a strongly typed language like Pascal with a Pascal-like syntax. It introduced modules which were similar to Ada's packages, and a coroutine which allowed some concurrent programming. Modula 2 never really caught on, largely because the many extensions added to Turbo Pascal took away much of its potential clientele, and then C became very popular. While it had a lot of potential, it never had the opportunity to live up to it. Smalltalk was one of the first object-oriented languages, and is considered one of the purest examples of an object-oriented language. Its syntax is very different from earlier programming languages, most of which were imperative. Generally, programming problems solved in Smalltalk take significantly fewer programmer hours to solve than the same problem solved using imperative languages. But Smalltalk's syntax was very unusual, and Smalltalk programs ran much slower than programs written in imperative languages. This led to it having limited success. 
But there was one way in which it was very successful. The experience programming in Smalltalk inspired a Danish doctoral student to develop a language that implemented classes similar to those in Smalltalk, but with a syntax and an efficiency much closer to C. He originally called it C with classes, but it was later renamed C++. The Danish doctoral student was Bjarne Strustrup. This program defines a class called Polygon. It is derived from the class Object, and there are local variables that belong to each object in the class. These instance variables, in each instance of a polygon that is, are our pen, num sides, and side length. There are several objects or procedures that we can define. New returns an instance of the object. GetPen allows us to get an instance of a pen for drawing a polygon. As you look at the method definition, it becomes clear that the syntax is very different, and this is one of the challenges that Smalltalk provides for programmers unfamiliar with it. And this is one of several reasons why it did not catch on. As I said before, C++ was developed by Bjarne Strustrup as he sought a language that combine the objects and classes of Smalltalk with the syntax and efficiency of C. While the language was created in 1980, it was not standardized until 1998, and its compilers have not conformed entirely to the standard. Despite this, it has remained fairly popular, with many Microsoft products developed in C++, and with C++ compilers for Windows, Mac OS, Unix, Linux, and many other processors and operating systems. Scheme was actually developed in the late 1970s, but its popularity largely came from the textbook that Abelson and Sussman wrote, entitled Structure and Implementation of Computer Programs. The text was used until very recently in MIT's introductory programming course, and is considered a classic text. There remains a number of colleges who use Scheme in their introductory programming course. ML is a functional language with a syntax similar to Pascal. The name is an acronym for Meta Language. John Backus, the lead developer of Fortran, also developed the functional language FP, which was heavily influenced by APL. Backus believes that it is important that we be able to write programs that can be proven mathematically to be correct. Kolmerauer, Roussel, and Kowalski developed the declarative language Prolog, short for programming logic, based on predicate calculus and mathematical logic. While the language was actually developed for use in natural language processing, it became very popular in the 1980s for use in developing expert systems programs that seek to emulate human expertise.